villains. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe as we check out. Hey, too, don't fun of her. Uh, we check out the uh, Shazam DLC characters for the first Shazam uh, DLC pack. And we're here with Zachary Levi and uh, I think his name is Jake or something. Jack? Jack? I don't know. His name's funny in the movie. And just saying. So yeah, we're here. And I don't know, that kid's pretty nimble. I mean, he's disabled yet he's able to balance on his. I mean, that's pretty amazing. But yeah, so we're starting off with Shazam, aka Captain Marvel, the real Captain Marvel. I mean, I know, I know, but I lost him still. He's Captain Marvel. So it's Captain Marvel. He was first, so that's how it works. So yeah. So he has obviously lightning powers, those lightning balls, teleportation, that, and you know, we're just gonna check out his abilities. Shazam! Okay, that wasn't what I wanted to do, but alright. Alright, Shazam movie! Shazam family. Alright, so, he has electricity powers, you can uh, do the uh, blue panel things. Uh, he has flight. He has uh, electricity protection, toxic gas protection, security access, selfie mode, illumination, makes sense, I mean he, he, he kind of has light up powers, uh, hyper jump, he has super strength, he has smash walls, and kind of set them out of order, uh, teleportation, transform, which is transform back into Billy and all that. And extra vision and vent travel. Alright. Chosen because of his pure heart and strong spirit, 14 year old Billy Batson found himself magically transformed into the powerful adult superhero Shazam. Retaining the, the uh, perspective of an attitude of his teenage self, Shazam is now ready to begin his journey. Coming in true hero. The first uh, comic appearance for is uh, Wiz Comics number two, 1994. Back then, he was called Captain Marvel. So yeah. That's Shazam. Yeah, we have. Yeah, so this is how to jump. Oh, there we go. Hi, my job! Zap, zap, zap. Lady from the hand, lady from the head. Alright. There we go. Alright, time Six. for Billy! So this is Billy. Uh, this is, well, I mean, this is uh, the movie Billy. The other Billy is in this game too. Uh, she's, uh, hold on. She's, uh, somewhere. There we go, see you up together. And also, Shazam is voiced by Zachary Levi in this game. I don't know about Billy or the rest. Um, I don't know if they're voiced by their actual characters. Uh, I don't actually know some monsters. <laughs> I definitely don't know the monsters thing. But yeah, so yeah, he has a nice Mickey player. He's got short legs. It's like short round. Do you know where that's from? If you can tell me. And yeah, so Shazam! Let's see no, stop it! Right. So he has acrobatic powers. Okay, that's kind of amazing. I mean, he's just a teenage kid, but he has no special training, but alright. Uh, Selfie mode. Teleportation. Uh, really? And chest. So that's what he's missing. Recognized for uh, possessing a strong will and pure heart. The streetwise teenager Billy Baxter was chosen to become the adult superhero Captain Marvel. Sorry, so now adjusting to his uh, to life with his new family and friends, Billy uh, has only just begun to discover how to use his newfound superpowers for good. First appearance of the Wiz Comics. I mean, he's the same person as so there. Obviously, his first appearance is gonna be you know same one. You know, even though he's a teenager, he's actually technically old. Oh, he was on the cell phone. And 
Why won't let me change characters while I'm up here? <laughs> there we go. Alright. So, next up is Freddy Freeman. Uh, you know, the guy who's disabled and who's a fan of all the symbiotes in the movie. And if you actually look there, he's actually wearing a uh, Knockman t shirt, which he does wear in the movie. Uh, they can see a symbol there. I'm pretty sure that's meant to symbolize Knockman by later form. And yeah, he's got his little uh, crutch. And yeah, although, I mean, as you saw in the start of this, he's pretty nimble for a disabled kid. <laughs> I mean, it's balancing much. And uh, also, he turns into Shazam! Also, or well, as uh, in the comics, uh, Shazam Jr. It's basically what it is. He's uh, blue Shazam, and yeah. So this is actually spoilers in the movie, but that's what happens. I mean, it wouldn't be in the DLC pack if it wasn't in the movie. And he doesn't, he seems to fly a lot more than uh, Philly there. Alright, so. So his powers are Boomerang, power which he throws uh, his Batarang from the movie, uh, which he uh, has a Batarang thing from, um, where was it, uh, from, yeah, Batman, he, I don't know how he got it, but obviously he pulled on the lines of me. He has Illumination powers, he has this weird torch there, he has Selfie Mode, because all the characters have Selfie Mode, uh, projectile rebound, which is a Batarang again, transform and teleportation. I don't care how the kids have some limitations, I mean, they're not in their simple form, but whatever. Okay, so channeling his fandom, the young Freddy Freeman made himself into something of an expert on the subject of superheroes. This was fortunate as it had made the perfect partner for his new best friend, uh, Billy Batson, also his brother, since they're kind of in his own family. But anyway, uh, who recently gained superpowers? Come, yeah, the hero known as Shazam. First appearance was with Comics, number 25, 1941. Ooh. Oh. Now for oh, oh. Shazam, Freddy. All right, so electricity powers, flights, electricity injection, gas protection, mouse rules, self-reload, um, security access. I've jumped again for myself. Super strength, teleportation, transform, and adventure. And that's obviously pretty much the exact same. But I know that's spoofing to him. Alright, next up is MD, one of the seven sins. Both in the movie and in other things. Okay. So this is MD. Which, uh, I don't remember if he actually came out of uh, Dr. Sylvia in the movie uh, till the very end, but yeah. He throws black uh, magic stuff, he has claws, so obviously he's gonna have deep powers. So I guess they don't have to jump, no flight. Just one piece of white Hey! Don't talk about my Gotham City like that. I'm envy of you. That's all I'm gonna make green in this plant chip that we just see envy. Alright, so he has acrobatic power. Dude, my control, because, you know. Uh, selfie mode, stunt travel, and teleportation. Oh, plus selfie mode, try that, didn't work. Seven deadly enemies of man. Thanks, Sylvia. Alright. As one of the seven deadly enemies of man, envy represents mankind's most jealous thoughts and desires. Trapped for years within the magical stronghold known as the Rock of Eternity, this resentful rogue is desperate to escape into the world and bring bitterness back in a big way. First appearance was comics number 2, 1940. Yeah. And he has no ideas because that's all he is, he's envy. Everything that you envy, he basically is envy. Teleport! Teleport! Let's teleport. Yeah. Woo! And yeah, he 
kind of a green goblin right now in this uh, because you know he's green and he's got goblin looking ears. That's all black stuff. Okay. Shazam. Is it just me or does Gotham get a new look every few years? Just me? <laughs> uh, no. Okay, next up is Latini. The big, uh, uh, the big one. You know, the, the, the kind of the large stomach. Also, his mouth goes like right there. I mean, wow. He's, a, he's got a big mouth. So, he obviously spits stuff out of his big mouth. Okay, so he vomits on people. Kind of like uh, Trusty does. Oh, he's vomiting food. I like the effects there. See all the different food. Cut. Lands on his belly. Those gross stuff. I thought this boy here. That's the kind of thing. Oh, I I'm, uh, I'm hungry. Give me food. Right. No. has toxic gas protection. Toxic fuel protection. Uh, heat vision, which is basically him vomiting all over you. Selfie mode. And... Tracking power. Right. So, as a member of the Seven Deadly uh, Enemies of Man, the creature known as Galaxy embodies the negative traits uh, of uh, in over endurance, over endurance, uh, and excess. Uh, caring little for the phrase of all things uh, in moderation, this very excellent has recently escaped the imprisonment of the Rock of Eternity. Yeah, I, uh, I kind of lost my child there. Uh, first appearance was Wiz Comics, uh, number two, 940. So there we go, that's uh, Glandy. And this one, oh, those two. Next up is Rai. What happens when you uh, take part in your work? You look I like keep this. Whispers about a party Although going this, down over on the west side he kind of town. looks like it's uh, Ultimate Stacey. Goblin. You wouldn't get in. Ultimate Green Goblin. Oh, you know what? Yeah. I can just change it to green yeah. a little bit. It's got wings. And yeah. Uh, even though he was cutting, I will say he kind of looked pretty cool in the movie. But kind of, then again, he is fried, so nowadays. better not take five of us. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, make it on this. <laughs> Alright, so here we are here. Okay, it looks like he's uh, kind of a man that time here. She's just standing there. She's like, what? Time for five! So it has flight, obviously, head jump, uh, self mode, teleportation, and venture. These seven deadly enemies in man really don't have a uh, lot of, uh, you know, powers. Often regarded as most, the most dangerous of the seven deadly sins, pride represents mankind's own sense of self-importance and unwillingness to compromise with others. Now free from the work of eternity, Pride has returned to take the world on an ego trip like never before. Yeah, I mean, he would be most dangerous. I mean, Pride is probably the most dangerous uh, thing, so, you know. Uh, first appearance was comics number two, and I think. Yeah. Ooh, I'm sorry, I took Pride in. Oh, I took Pride in. Killing him. I would say Pride and Envy are the most dangerous in my mind. But, maybe. Okay, so this is Wrath. He's a big figure. Moves around like Rod by the looks of it. Yeah, he can. Yeah, this, this looks like a clone of Rod. 
I threw that a stupid Ultraman. Yeah. You know, I'm just a big thing. And all the things have it. Alright. So, Rat has boost lift, because big things have that. So, you can see in this game. He has dig house. That's uh, interesting. Uh, fire protection. Uh, yeah, well, by looking at his color. He has had jump, teleportation. Super Jank and Smash Wolves, Photo Mode, and the Climb Wolves, which is just pointless in this game. Really. I just, there's no point in it. Okay, so representing the Unbound, VOA, and Anger, the creature known as Wrath uh, is the one of the seven deadly sins recently released from the Rock Eternity. This ill tempered troublemaker is already to unleash a tidal wave of rage. Onto the world, causing more than uh, uh, simple tempered uh, tantrums. First appearance is Wiz Comics number two, not And this guy, I would say, would get along with, you know, uh, the Red Lantern, uh, Chocolate, because they both like to, you know, they both like rage and anger, so, you know, it's kind of, you know, they would get along a lot. But, uh, he, Feels like a clone of God, but when he moves, he's this. That's a God power. Yes. <laughs> Teleport isn't, but other than that, yeah. Alright, let's go back let's to MD. The tallest building in the world. Most people will probably end uh, this, their videos, so check these videos on oh, like. Shazam and Freddy, but I'm gonna end up the bad Even guys. I couldn't get because a this is DC Super Villains, people. It ain't no DC superheroes. This is about the villains. So we're putting envy and pride into this. That's right. That's right. Don't mess with envy. Uh, yeah, look at them. They're so evil. Hello. I'm envious of your hair. How do you keep it like that? But anyway, uh, Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and check back out for more uh, Lego DC Supermans and other stuff. Uh, I have a lot of videos I'm working on and some that I'm you know, finishing editing and I will be uploading at my new title season final review. And yeah, that was taking a while. You know, it, it's all done. I'm just going through and editing it. It's like an hour long. I just like cut a lot of things out. So anyway. As I said, make sure you like and subscribe. Comment below. Let me know your favourite uh, character from this uh, level pack and why it's your favourite. And yeah, I'm gonna say I will say these two are my favourite looking ones. But anyway, see ya.